The B-Born button control panel consists of three main sections. The amount of coffee put in, the time, and the roast profile. The plus minus buttons add or subtract time to the overall roast. At the top, the weight buttons select the amount of coffee that you put into the roaster. Now there are easy ways to uh, trick the roaster putting in a little less coffee than you select. So I often use a half pound of coffee but I select the one pound setting. And what these settings essentially do is allow you to roast for certain amounts of time. So you can roast for the least amount of time on the quarter pound setting and the most amount of time on the one pound setting. Roasting is a manual process, so it's always good to have extra time at the end of the roast. That's why I select the one pound setting most often. So A, B, C, and D are basically four different time increments. So it looks confusing, but really this is just a time button. And then you can of course add and subtract before or after the roast with these buttons. Finally, the most important part of the roaster is it comes with five predetermined roast profiles. So there's no way to manually adjust either the heat or the airflow of the roaster. So you have to rely on these preset profiles to do this. P1 is a, the hottest profile, but it also allows you the shortest time to roast. So the built-in safety features of the Be More make it very difficult to use P1 if you're going to put a lot of coffee in because you can't keep the roast going. And this is to really protect against fire. So it's, it's a good idea but something you have to be aware of. And then we're gonna do a more detailed look at the profiles here in a minute. Once you have your weight set, your time set, and your profile set, you hit the start button. There's also a light that comes on in the roaster with this button. And any time during the roast process when you'd like to stop the roast, you press the cool button and it will enter into the cooling cycle, which will last anywhere from eight to 13 minutes depending on the amount of coffee you put in. Okay, I want to take a minute to explain the different roast profiles that the Be More has available. There are five preset roast profiles. It's important to know the Be More is not adjustable manually with either the heat or the airflow. So you have to rely on the pre-programmed profiles. So let's go through those. P1 is the hottest roast profile, and you can see by the graph that it goes from zero power to 100% power very quickly in the roast process. What this means is this will roast coffee the fastest. So what BeMore has done is added safety features to the roaster which limit the amount of time you can use to roast when using the P1 roast profile. P2 is a bit of a different profile where it goes quickly up to 100% and then towards the end of the roast cycle dips back down to 60% and then finishes at the top. It's kind of a weird profile. We've never really figured out how to use that one right. P3, P4, and P5 are all very similar in that they step up in increments. So they'll go up to 60%, 80%, and finally 100%. I choose P4 most often because I feel that it's a nice gradual stepped curve and gives good results at the end of the roast where you get a nice drawn out time between first and second crack which is crucial to controlling the roast of your coffee. So for my personal taste, P4 is a good starting place for your profile. It also lets you add a lot of time because it's not as a hot profile as P1. So P4 is a good starting point. 